Welcome to the Lysefjord, a majestic artery carved into the heart of Ryfylke, Norway. This is a place rich in history, where you find famous sites like Preikestolen, Sherag, and Flori. Stretching for 40 kilometers, the fjord is framed by towering cliffs. Lysefjord means fjord of light, likely inspired by the ever-changing weather and the way the granite sparkles in the sunlight. The Lysefjord was carved by rivers and then sculpted by glaciers. Today it's filled with water from the rivers and the sea. Nature and the hard work of its people in farming, fishing, energy production and tourism have shaped the fjord into what it is now. At its mouth, the Lysefjord is just 11 meters deep, due to the moraines left by glaciers. In 1823, Professor Esmark conceived the Scandinavian glaciology theory at Haukali, with its marked end and side moraines. Forsan, known as the capital of the Lysefjord, got its name from the sand that has been so important for the local community. The fjord's most productive farms are located in Forsan, a place with a long trade history. The mountain Uburen is a well-known landmark in this area. Across the Lysefjord bridge, you'll find Oanes, one of the first places where people started farming along the north side of the fjord. Together with Lauvik, Oanes and Forsan are the gateways to the Lysefjord. These places are busy with ferries and people starting their adventure into the fjord's stunning landscape. Along the Lysefjord's southern shore, the Fossmok Road invites travelers to a landscape steeped in cultural history and outdoor delights. Once a hub for copper mining and granite quarrying, today it's the charm of peaceful farms and the grandeur of the landscape that capture the imagination. The Bay of Dörvika is perfect for swimming and kayaking. For cyclists, the winding road to Fossmark offers a beautiful ride with stunning views of the fjord and Preikestolen. From the viewpoint at Hellesli, part of the scenic route Ryfylke, you get a mighty view of the fjord. Close by, modern designer cabins blend into the mountainside. These luxurious retreats offer comfort with a front row seat to nature. The Lysefjorn Rundt Trail carves a path along and around the fjord. It's a route that promises adventure, with each step revealing new vistas of towering cliffs and deep canyons. Discover the Lysefjord's own infinity pool. The cove of Fantahola holds tales of a past where outlaws once hid from the law. Today, it's a favorite spot for boat trips, famous for its amazing scenery. Refso Kai, reopened in 2018, serves as a nostalgic gateway to the area. This was once the starting point for the hike to Preikestolen. Preikestolen, Norway's premier hiking destination, was discovered in the late 1800s. Today, it draws over 400,000 visitors each year, thanks to its well-kept four-kilometer trail and the breathtaking views it offers of the Lysefjord. The non-profit Preikestolen Foundation takes care of the parking area and trail. They work to ensure that hikers are safe and that the area stays clean and welcoming. Preikestolen Base Camp offers a comfortable starting point for your hiking adventure. Preikestolen was formed 10,000 years ago, when the melting glaciers flooded a river valley, creating the Lysefjord. The mountains became unstable and three sides of Preikestolen were sheared off, creating its distinctive shape. Its name translates to preacher's chair, reflecting its resemblance to traditional pulpits. Rest assured, 
geologists have monitored its stability since the 1990s, confirming it's safe for visitors. Since the Stone Age, the Lysefjord has been a cradle of human life, with ancient inhabitants thriving on hunting, fishing, and later farming and livestock. Nestled along this timeless fjord are historic mountain farms and small settlements, each with a tale woven into the very fabric of this rugged landscape. Hengjana Farm, established in the 17th century, witnessed a transformation under Heinrich Mohr, the Hengjana German, who secretly produced moonshine here. Now the cascading whiskey falls stand as a tribute to his legacy. The striking Hengjana formation provides sweeping views of the fjord. Bratteli, a farm dating back to the 1600s, is named for its challenging elevation. It's now a cherished destination, reachable by ferry or on foot, for hikers and cabin owners who love the fjord's remote beauty. Bakken Farm, perched 173 meters above the fjord, was once the home of Pilt Ola, a local legend whose tenacity influenced regional commerce. Johannes and Jachtrud, the farm's final inhabitants, dedicated their lives to preserving its traditional ways. Today, the restored Bakken welcomes hikers as a historic and charming accommodation. Kallali, on the south side of the Lucifjord, with its historical farms, forms a valuable cultural landscape. Kallali holds the oldest residential house in the Lucifjord, dating back to the 18th century. Hoheller, a gem in the Lucifjord with roots stretching back to 1580, was once among the region's most flourishing estates. Its grand main house, facing the sea with a baroque flair, echoes the prosperity of an era, fueled by diverse agriculture, sawmilling and notable fruit orchards. Songisan is a village located midway along the Lysefjord, with its own ferry quay and road over Lyngseja to Årdal. The name Songisan comes from the river Songa, and there are several small farms in the area. Just across the fjord from Songesan lies Flörli, an idyllic roadless enclave. Here, the flörli Ono river has nurtured a farm since the 1600s, which now welcomes visitors as a cozy tourist cabin. Flörli's dramatic drop from Flörvatna to the fjord has long made it a natural site for hydropower, a venture that shaped its destiny from a farm to a bustling company town until 1999. Now, this almost abandoned village draws global travelers charmed by its unique atmosphere, historic allure, outdoor opportunities and the world's longest wooden staircase. Lysebotten, nestled at the far end of the Lysefjord, is a village transformed by time. Once a cluster of farms, it has evolved with the arrival of hydropower in the 1940s. The power plant in Lysebotten is an essential source of renewable energy. The village has become a popular destination for tourists who want to experience the area's breathtaking nature and thrilling outdoor activities. The advent of hydroelectricity also carved a path through the mountains, with a road from Lysebotten to Sirdal that snakes up the mountainside in a spectacular ascent from the fjord's depths. Sherag, a huge mountain wall by the fjord, is famous in Norway. Visitors come here to climb, base jump or hike to see the Sheragbolten a big rock stuck between two cliffs 984 meters above the Lysefjord. 
The Lucifjord is a place of natural beauty and history, drawing people for thousands of years. While the fjord is renowned for its stunning sights like Prekestolen, Sherag and Flåli, the fjord has so much more to offer. We invite you to stay longer and uncover the myriad of hidden gems along its shores. From the Lysefjord Rund Trail to leisurely boat trips, the Lysefjord is not just a quick visit, but a destination to explore and experience the full majesty of Norway's nature.